Yesterday we had a really, really good day. We got about six hours bottom time uh, between six divers, which was absolutely fantastic. I think we managed to tick off most of the archaeological objectives we were trying to do. Uh, so well done, absolutely cracking day. I'm Mark James, I'm the diving supervisor for this project. So diving on, on a commercial project such as this is a little bit different to what might happen in the recreational world. We have to do an awful lot to make sure our divers stay safe. So it includes things like making sure we've got enough gas for the dive. We make sure that we maintain constant communication with our divers so we can talk to them. We, we also track them so we know exactly where they are on the site. Cyber's ready for checks, Mark. Thank you, Tom. We go through a process before they go in. We, we have a big check sheet which makes sure that, that all their gas is turned on, for example, their, their hats are fitted properly, they've got their knife, they've got all the tools they Three. need and that everything's connected and working. Right, divers good for water. Right, ready for water. All right, divers ready for water. Yeah, right, ready for water. We create an environment that's incredibly safe for the divers to get in the water. The project's been going brilliantly so far. We've had phenomenal weather, we've got a great team, we've had excellent conditions underwater, so we've had visibility between five, six, seven, eight metres even, which has been fantastic for us to work in and, and something we're not actually that used to. We've managed to send divers out over the whole of the site. We've been to every single cannon on the seabed, every single anchor. We've been around the stone blocks. We've been collecting water samples. We've been identifying flora and fauna on the seabed, so could not be happier right now. Can someone do my hair and makeup? Uh. <laughs>